Hello, hello, hello guys. How are we? How are we? How are we? I hope we're all lovely and well and super and marvellous. So, uh, today is going to be a bit of a um, day in the life, but I'm kind of travelling through time, okay? I'm not really going to be filming it in a linear fashion. I've already filmed a load of it. I filmed my very early. I was up at stupid o'clock this morning. I don't really know why. Just wanted to bloody crack on. Uh, you know, wanted to get after it, felt good, so I did. So I got to the gym, I smashed out an upper workout, even though I forgot to do my bloody chin-ups and my shoulder push-ups, but we will do them tomorrow, just before uh, my leg session. But I filmed that, so um, I will take you through that, uh, what my upper is, uh, where I'm at at the moment. It was a really good session, I was like increasing um, weight, so I'll uh, show you where I'm at strength wise and uh, where I'm actually hoping to go because I feel like it's going to be one of those you know how they always go in cycles where you feel stronger so you can really push it um, as I've not properly pushed it for quite a while um, but right now I'm using up even though I should be plant based because it's Tuesday I am having those bad boys using up some eggs and then this sucker and then most importantly, this is a really big day, guys, and why I really wanted to vlog it is because, oh yeah, look at that bad boy. I mean, look at it. It's just beautiful. I just don't know if I'm a bit annoyed, though, because um, I basically got this coffee machine, and I was, like, really excited because, um, you know, you can get those pods everywhere, um, but the virtue, and they, basically they were giving these away. They were, like, 70% off or something. And today is actually the last day, so I picked it. I got one yesterday because I was like, got to get one, 70% off. Mad not to, for many reasons, which I will outline. But I think I've got these bigger capsule ones, and that's probably why they were getting rid of them, because the Virtuo um, capsules are actually quite hard to get. They are not in supermarkets, like the little ones that are the super expensive machines. I think these ones, you can only get them in the Nespresso shops if i'm wrong about that please put that in the description even though i haven't looked around properly in supermarkets but what i basically wanted to do was be able to get aluminium ones because one of the main reasons i got this guys was for sustainability um because these are like aluminium little capsules and aluminium is super super recyclable so i thought that was awesome otherwise i never would have got one if these were just plastic there's absolutely no way i would have got one but you can get quite a lot of um you can get quite a lot of like aluminium capsules for them now. But I'll set you up on the tripod and do full like exciting unboxing and initial thoughts and review and stuff. But right now, eggs, steak, I'm absolutely starving. I haven't had anything like proper, like substantial all day. So yeah, we'll crack on with this and I'll set you up on the tripod and then we will do unboxing. Right. Yes, guys, so I thought I'd, um, before I do the coffee machine unboxing and all that, as said in the intro, I will take you through my morning workout, like I already did at like stupid o'clock. Um, this is the first set actually at 75 from 70, so I was like, well pleased, did that relatively comfortably. Um, yeah, re really pleased with that. Um, then on to the obliques. Um, yeah, still on like 24 kg on this, but that seems to be just like a good weight. And I don't want to actually do like too much weight because I think I'm probably hurting my back and it's way more important to just be consistent and maintain really good form on this. And the 24 kg seems to be the limit. Um, there's quite a few exercises um, that I didn't record because I, I don't know it was awkward or um, I don't know, it was so early in the morning. I was like, probably just forgot to film them. Um, but yeah, so apologies for that. I will do like, I'll make sure that I film um, a really detailed one in, in subsequent videos. This is, um, I'm doing the ab crunch now at um, 25 kg. Uh, let me just double check that. Yeah, at 25 from 20, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, really making my abs pop. Um, 
back row is at 67 kg and then this is all then i drop down um to like the next weight which is like 57 um to maintain better form and then overhead press i've also upped as well so that's um 30 kg oh, no sorry 40 um which is really great because like my overhead press is really weak but you can see there i needed a, i needed a break i did four then took a break and then did the remaining four um because yeah i did struggle at 40 kg and then yeah i'll take it down to, to 30 kg welcome back guys so just to very quickly show you uh steak and eggs turned out really well so um yeah check this out i'm gonna get down my face yeah look at that so it's three eggs three organic free range eggs just some tomatoes and grilled steak so oh that is lunch if i don't count um my protein shake which i don't now the sad fact is that this will absolutely uh, put me over on calories as i tend to you know i plan to have a nice healthy dinner uh, i've got some vegan uh meatballs i'm gonna roast some veg and then have that in like just passata like tomato sauce um or it might not because i don't have sun-dried tomatoes which and it will maybe taste a bit bland anyway the important thing is that um yeah i'll have like a decent dinner and i really want to have a decent calorie deficit today so i'll be going running so even though i've already been to the gym but i've done an upper nothing on my legs leg day was yesterday legs are feeling fine so i'm going to try and bang out uh, nothing major, four miles, five miles, uh, to create a nice calorie deficit. Um, but yeah, so e eating this is, you know, like I think of it is fueling the training uh, and hopefully should finish on a nice calorie deficit at the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get this down me and then I will take you through the coffee, um, coffee machine unboxing. Very exciting, very, very exciting. Okay, okay guys, I'm back. Let me uh, just... Okay, so very, very exciting unboxing. So this is the deal, I'm afraid. I should have done this video uh, ages ago, weeks ago, uh, so I could then tell you about the deal so you could go out and get it. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, this is the deal I got anyway. So uh, this machine was 100 quid with 50 capsules, uh, including 50 capsules, and it would have been like double that. Uh, and they just get rid of them. And obviously what I'm scared about is they're getting rid of them. They're selling them off because you can't get these types of capsules anymore. But we'll see. That's just me being skeptical. I'm sure that's not the case. Right, I've already opened up one box. You get them in this cool, we gave them in this cool kind of card, card box, which is cool. Uh, open this bad boy up, see how we're doing. That. This is what you pay for with an espresso, right? Like, this is why it is, uh, it's just so expensive because they try and market it, even through the packaging, as like um, something special. I mean, that is literally like a box of chocolates, right? Which is ridiculous. I mean, look at that. That's just mad. So that's like a selection, and I guess they're giving you a selection so that you can um, figure out which ones you like, you know, which pills you've been on them um, Hopefully some of these are like decaf, but we'll see. I'll try and get some decaf if not. Luckily there's a store in Westfield where my gym is, so it's quite easy to pick them up. So there's one, there is a little leaflet in there. Um, clear some room in my kitchen state but loads of just like bump. So we get details about the coffee subscription, right? So they're naughty boys. So they take your details in the store and then they, um, you're signed up for the subscription and you have to cancel in your uh, first month if you don't want to keep, then it obviously automatically starts paying. And the guy said to me, right? He's like, you get, over six months, you get the first month, and then you get the sixth month free. 
So you have to stick to it to get two months. I'm just like, and it is expensive. 25 to 30 pounds. No, 25 pounds to 30 euros. That's insane. I mean, that is insane. I would only do that if I ended up drinking coffee out less, which I might do, still unlikely. And even then I'd probably get the prep subscription, which is what was that, like 30 quid or is it 20 quid for all you can drink, which that would definitely save me money if, uh, I only ever really went to Pret, which I don't, because I'm Pret isn't that amazing. I love Pret, I love it for food, but just coffee, sitting down working, mm, I don't know. So, you have your bag to take, uh, you know, for recycling, put the pods in, uh, and hopefully they deal with that responsibly after that. And then, look at all the, you know, that, I mean, that looks like a lot. Like a decent amount, right? What we've we got here, we've got Altus, Altuso. Uh, so I think that's like the, you know, it's difficult to see, but it's got like the, it's strength nine and it's for 40 milliliter cups. So wasn't it? But let's see how it's pop out and you have your little capsule there like that. There we go. I mean, that seems like an aluminium one to me, which is cool. Caramel cookie, as you can see that. Caramel cookie. I'm very, caramel, what the hell does that taste like? I mean, I just don't think I have that refined enough palette. This is all just gonna taste like coffee to me. Uh, I'm pretty certain. I mean, that is, that's gotta be for like a bigger, 230 milliliter. Uh, because that that's a beast, look at that. That's a big old boy. Um, so, and then there's three more. So that's all that, that's that box. Done. Right, let's get on with the big boy. What we all came here for, should I And then, get this little bad boy. Might just turn it into like a necklace or something, what do you think? A little bit of bling. And then we have a nice big card packaging. Look at that. Look at that. Well done, espresso. Polystyrene is dead, yeah? Oh, right. So there it is guys. Looking pretty, pretty slick. Yeah, nice, I'm well happy with that. Okay. What I won't do, because it's end up being the longest video in the world, is bore you with me figuring out all the setup and um, you know, reading the instructions and stuff. I think that could potentially, let's hope not, but it could potentially take a while. So. Uh, I'll figure all that out and get it to the point where I just have to drop a capsule in and then I'll make my first coffee um, and we'll do a taste test and I'll let you know. But yeah, back back in a tick. Yes, guys, welcome back. So, um, quick one for the next like installment of the uh, Nespresso machine. I just thought I'd show you this because this is pretty friggin' awesome. Is um, There is an app, okay? So... Uh, hopefully I can get back to where I was, but yeah. So I can't believe this. The guy said something about it um, having, it will connect to your Wi-Fi and you'd be able to set it to like automatically turn on in the morning to make your coffee. I'm like, I mean, I'm gonna use that feature just for like novelty, um, but that's, that's insane, right? Like talk about unnecessary, um, but awesome. Um, so you go up the top there, um, and then it will, um, but then it has machine assistance videos, right? So first, first use, little video. Look at that. This tutorial will guide you through the first use and phone pairing of your new virtual next machine. 
First, rinse. Unbelievable, how cool is that? So, uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run through those videos and um, do the setup. And then, yeah, I'll come back for my first coffee and let you know how good. Okay, guys, welcome back. I think we are uh, in business now. So, I've, uh, ooh, uh, there you go. So the reason that run out of water is because I have to do like a rinse uh, thing uh, for your first use or if you haven't used it for like a long time. And then um, try to set up the Wi-Fi, but the app wasn't having it. So I guess I won't be having automatically switched on coffee, but I will figure that out. Cause it's like, I don't know, like a guy thing. It has to be done, right? Has to be done, fellas. If I've got a gadget, it's got to work. So there is a, um, one of these in there, I went for the uh, caramel cookie because I'm just so curious about that. Uh, this is a 230 milliliter mug. So I'm hoping that's 230 milliliters, um, but we shall see. Let's see if it overflows, that'll be fun. I swear it's like a thing. Right, so let's, sorry about the wonky camera work there guys. Let's do the first one. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, and then we should hopefully have our first coffee very soon. Okay guys, uh, take two, let's rewind. Uh, what basically happened just then was I run out of space on my memory card, I know, bloody amateur. Um, what we'll do instead is now it's all set up, I already had a coffee uh, probably about half an hour ago now, and even though I probably shouldn't have another one because I'm already buzzing off my tits, um, you know, because I'm that, I'm so dedicated to YouTube and this channel and you guys that, you know, I'm just gonna force another one down. So here we go. And I can show you everything from the beginning, how this bad boy works. So there she is, the beauty. Uh, but basically we pop, put this little bad boy capture in there. This looks like a giant nipple. Uh, so we pop our giant nipple in there and then you have to like turn it to properly lock it because it doesn't like lock properly. Uh, sorry about the camera work there. Uh, but there we go. So and then it's on and then we just do that and then it makes this awesome noise. You know, like other ones make like horrible like chugging noises whereas this just sounds like, it's basically the Formula One of uh, coffee machines or that is what I'm telling myself. then there she blows. I mean, look at that crema layer. So, you know, really recyclable. So you just buy these pods, smash them in your recycling and you are good to go. Uh, no more, you know, before I would get, uh, where is it, you know, I would get the ground coffee uh, from, you know, from Morrison's or whatever and then there'd be loads of packaging. Um, you know, probably the only other thing I could do, which is probably like the, well, I guess you could argue would be the ultimate recyclability would be to have gone to a bulk shop, taken a, uh, you know, taken a bag and then got beans and then ground the beans with a grinder here and then put it in a container like that. I guess you could argue that's the ultimate sustainability because that's no waste and fair enough, you have an excellent point. However, the other element that I realized was cleaning my French press every day is like a painful nightmare. And even though you, you know, like you take the grounds out, um, whatever's left over and you put it in the bin, there's still some that goes down your sink and nothing plugs up a sink like grounds. And yeah, like I say, cleaning it was a nightmare and I just love my coffee every morning. Um, so this will save a bit of time, a bit of hassle. And like I say, they are highly recyclable materials. You know, what I might do is actually do what I said and go, uh, you know, buy a grinder and then go to a bulk store and, you know, I'll do a video on it and get a load of beans and then uh, buy a grinder, grind it up and then have it in a container like I just showed you. Um, and then kind of use both. So then maybe, you know, you're kind of getting the both into best of both in terms of sustainability. So this is super convenient. You know, I don't have to do the washing up the French press every day, uh, but maybe when I've got a bit more time and I can be asked, I do do the French press so that I buy even less of them. 
so it's even less like um, you know waste even if the waste is recyclable so uh, but going back I think we are done and there we go oh look at that look at uh, this is really going to up my uh, morning intro day in the life coffee game you know right so we get the full fat only and I'm going to top that bad boy up and then there we go guys and I will be back uh, I'll let you know how my run goes and then I will show you dinner Welcome back guys, uh, so yeah, after all that coffee, I mean I plan to go for a run anyway, but obviously now I kind of need to go for a run because I'm buzzing off my tits. I don't ever do like pre-workout and I don't really know what all the fuss with pre-workout is about, but I think I've learned what all the fuss is about because I'm so ready for a run now because I've had so much caffeine, I'm absolutely buzzing off my nuts, so even if I wasn't going to go running, I definitely would have just randomly decided to go running because I am totally buzzing off my nut. So hopefully it'll be a good one, hopefully. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I only plan to do five miles because I've got a leg workout tomorrow. Um, and I just didn't plan to burn that many calories, but <laughs> the way I'm feeling, I might, I might just do eight and like, you know, fuck it. I might just do eight, try and smash it and then see how I do with my leg workout tomorrow. If I do eight and then I manage to do okay, you know, maybe not, I don't, maybe I don't increase um, any weight tomorrow in my leg workout, but if I just do, you know, I'm doing quite heavy squat and stuff. So if I manage to, to maintain that after doing eight miles before, that would obviously be amazing. Maybe not advised, but you know, that's what this channel's all about, hybrid fitness, you know? You run eight miles, you do it in a great time, the next day you do the heaviest uh, heaviest squat workout you can. I won't do any more legs probably this week, so you know it will just all be like loads more running. So if you think about it that way, I'm just, you know, I've just got to put everything I can into the leg workout tomorrow, knowing I'm gonna rest the rest of the week. Eight miles, here we go. Wish me luck. Obviously I will provide a report when I get back about the mileage and the calories and then I will film dinner and also hopefully with all this training today a workout and a run uh, especially an eight miler I will fall asleep very very quickly and will have an amazing night's sleep and be able to get up early again tomorrow and smash another early workout and keep the momentum going okay guys I'll leave it there and I will uh, report back upon my return Yes, guys, so, uh, slight uh, snafu, one might say. Uh, I basically got in from a run and was very distracted by being completely and utterly <laughs> wiped out. So, uh, yeah, completely forgot to film dinner. It wasn't anything special, uh, just like vegan meatballs and roast veg um, and some tomato sauce. So uh, yeah, nothing amazing, but I'll go through uh, my, the eight mile run was, was really good. Not amazing, you know, it, it was all right, like it felt good, it just, like it wasn't quick, uh, probably is all I say, but it wasn't slow at the same time. Um, so let me get over and I'll put everything on this side. Um, yeah, and then I'll go through my macros as well. So. Now, uh, I don't know why I do that to myself because when I edit it's really hard to get it like exactly there. Um, but you know, it looks cool when I do that, right? I think it looks cool. Um, so the run, there you go, so that's today's run. So I also did an indoor cycle this morning. I did it so early, I'd almost forgot about it. So that was just 200 calories um, and then I stopped. But it was like the sitting down cycle, which I'm like, that's like the best invention ever because you're you're sitting down in what is quite a comfortable seat and and just pedaling and you just watch calories tick over i just watch youtube it is fantastic and yeah cheeky uh 200 calories my run as you can see yeah wasn't too bad so one hour 10 you know not not too bad i mean the average pace 
one, 140, that's, that is really not great. That, that's quite bad. Um, so definite improvements need to be made. Um, eight miles obviously, you know, turned out to be a nice 895 calories. I used to get way more calories than that, so I think um, Apple have like changed the algorithm or something, which is frustrating. I mean, considering my well, my average heart rate was 167 for an hour and 10 minutes, and I only get 895. I mean, maybe I'm getting fitter or something. I don't know, but that is depressing. Anyway, but if I'm getting fitter, can't complain, can you? you shouldn't uh, complain. I mean, let's look at the splits. I imagine they will be all over the place. Look at those splits, ridiculous. First mile nine, other miles are nine. You know, and there's third mile being eight, fourth mile being 8.21. I mean, that, uh, that is ridiculous, that's a joke. Um, so I'm all over the place, so definitely improvements need to be made running. Um, but yeah, decent amount of calories anyway. And yeah, 810, so not too bad. So that uh, resulted, if we look at my fitness pal, uh, with my total exercise, because I'd forgotten about um, the cycle, it turned out I'd, I'd burn a thousand calories today, which kind of snuck up on me, but, but pretty awesome. Like, so at the end of my workout, I've got, I've got to start prepping some food and eating something at the end of my workout, like a big uh, Tupperware thing. You know, just got to be more organized, like prep a meal and have a big um, bowl of something, like, you know, it doesn't, whether it's plant-based meatballs or, uh, and broccoli and, you know, just a ton of, or like a, just a big massive Tupperware of, of roast veg, whatever it is, just have, you know, just hoof something down. As soon as you finish your workout, um, so that you know when I go anywhere I'm not tempted to have like just a high calorie snack that won't necessarily satiate me for that long despite it being a stupid amount of calories because those calories are just sugar really um, so yeah I guess lesson learned there obviously if I start doing that I'll you know I'll film it in a, in a day vlog and let you know the results um, so yeah that uh, granola bar really screwed me over <laughs> um and then the steak and eggs which you saw earlier you know that was a lot 790 calories i mean it's a miracle i've got any kind of deficit today really um but yeah so that's what happened and then the flat whites always killed me god i probably even have more than that and then the protein shake protein shakes are oh man that like just having a banana so if i i'll put spinach in it and other stuff to just put more nutrients in it I don't even put berries in it because literally having a banana and then that vanilla protein I've got, oh, it is just lush. It's just, it tastes so good. The protein's lethal. That protein powder is so tasty and so, oh, it's just delicious. I just think about it every day. I just get to the point where I'm hungry and I've just got to have one of them bad boys. Oh, right. And there you go. So there, and there's my exercise automatically kind of plugged in going in there. Um, and that is it guys so we'll stop the recording there and yeah that was my day so I did finish on a deficit uh, but not a massive one you know considering considering I ran considering I burned a thousand calories today that's not a big deficit but I also know that if I ate less I would be starving, so may have to rethink my strategy a little bit. And I think what I might do is go full bodybuilder. What I am lethal at doing, guys. Like, oh, I'm so bad at it. I don't know if you are. If you are, let me know in the comments below, so you know we can have a can have a discussion about it. Because what I'm lethal at doing is just trying to do too much at once. I try and do too much at once. I'm overly ambitious and I'm a perfectionist. Uh, so I want it, and I've got no patience. So I've got this like trifecta pincer movement of like fucking myself. So it's like, there's so much pressure. I put pressure on myself. So it's like perfectionist. There's trying to do way too much and not being realistic and 
that's trying to, uh, oh, and doing it super fast because I'm not patient and I just like crush myself. And it's just, it's horrible, you know? It's, it's like, it's crazy. You never give yourself a break, you never relax because of it until you've achieved those goals. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get down. I'm currently like 14% body fat. I'm trying to get down to 10. Of, like if I just hit nine and then I'll, re and then I'll go crazy and then that will easily bump me back up to 10, if not 11. And then I'll experiment with like maintenance calories around 11 and see uh, what, you know, if I do 2000 a day, you know, still use an exercise to keep me at 2000 a day. Um, you know, cause as in not just only eating 2000, I'd probably end up eating a bit more, but then, you know, if, if it's 2200, I'll walk, I'll go for a 300 calorie walk kind of thing. Um, I'm basically hitting around 2000 and see if, you know, I shoot up to, to, you know, to, to 12 or 13, you know, or, or, you know, do I, can I stay if I eat 2000, 2200, do I stay at, at like 11, 12%? Um, and then just like maybe go on another, mad, have another mad weekend to, that'll put me up to, you know, uh, 12, around 12, 13. I might creep into 14 if I go absolutely mad, which is possible. Um, but then, but then I'll just bring it back down and I'll, you know, I'll stay between 12 and 14 basically. 14 being like alarm bell, you know, 14 like being like strong amber. And if I hit 15, that's red light. That's like stop eating, you fat bastard. Um, or do loads more cardio, you lazy twat. Um, basically, is what is is my, you know, and everything everything below that screen. Um, but where I was actually going with this was, I think that you know, doing loads of cardio. I love it. I love the eight mile runs. You know, I think they're really good for your physique, and they're just and they're really good for everything. Your mental health, um, and they are obviously good for keeping body fat down. But I think extreme, you know, like eight mile is, you know, even though I'm in half decent shape cardio wise, um, you know, I think that is still an extreme enough cardio session that it kind of messes with your hormones a little bit and makes you super hungry and messes with you psychologically. So you so you so you eat more. It's hard to have the willpower that you need to have, um, you know, to, 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 you know, if you've done a, a run that long. What I needed to have done today was not have that flapjack and then I could have eaten what I ate this evening and been totally fine. But, but the problem, I had that flapjack because, yeah, I didn't eat something low calorie and healthy after the gym. So I hope this helps guys. I hope anyone watching this is like, um, you know, I'm 14% body fat. You know, my physique's all right at the moment. I'm training really hard, but th but this is like the reality, right? I'm, I am not showing you just the good stuff. I'm, and I'm not trying to show you, you know, that I just eat bowls of salad um, and bowls of broccoli and I, and I just eat chicken, broccoli, rice, um, or just like, you know, bad cheat days. All I see is like fitness guys that are down to my body fat or below have incredible physiques. All you see them eating is like treats, guys, isn't it? It's really, really hard getting that balance right of how much cardio to do, um, how much weight training to do, and your diet is just, you know, the diet's the trickiest one. What I was saying was I think I might, because my initial goal is um, to lose, to get down to 10% body fat, right? That's my initial goal, but it's just, it's like once I achieve it, it's done. Right, and then I move on, and then I won't do anything, and then I'll go back up, like I said, to 12 or 13, and then my goal will just be to stay at 12 or 13. I think that's gonna be the body fat percentage that I'm really happy around. And I might, and I occasionally go up to, go up to 15, so like totally fine. I think I'll be totally fine with like 14, 15. It's really gonna be between like 12 and 15. I think I'm totally good around there. You know, I'm, I'm 14, 15 now, and I think my physique looks good. Um, yeah, but what I want to do is actually, you know, once I do that, is is uh, train more. So do do loads more weights and get stronger, get really strong, get really fit, 
um, and but then do loads of cardio as well. So literally max out, I do as much cardio as I can and as much weight training as I can to be to be what this channel is all about, right? The hybrid athlete, like high, super hybrid fitness. So, you know, I'm as strong as I am cardiovascularly fit. I've got to find a better way of saying that because it sounds shit. And then I want to work on calisthenics again and do calisthenics stuff, handstand press-ups, planche push-ups, you know, just going from like push-up position into a handstand and all that also like I love that stuff and I think that is a phenomenal form of fitness and flexibility I want to be super flexible now that is low down on the list I'm not gonna lie but that's definitely gonna come I reckon towards the end of the year I really want to focus on fitness but going coming full circle which obviously I completely plan to do this is obviously not just a off-the-cuff random rant on you know this is fully scripted and fully planned obviously guys um, no, I want to initially lose, you know, lose the weight, but I think you've got to lose it the way the bodybuilders lose oh, it, which is the main way that if you are just, if you're strength training or you're focusing on your physique and getting cut is walking, you know, you just put the hours in and you just walk and you just get the steps in because you know, maybe those guys that have been doing it a long time, been doing it longer than me, lifting and training their physique to look as good as possible. Not that this channel is about having a great physique, it's just in terms of if you only want to lose fat, and I, I am trying to learn the best way to lose fat because as much as I say this channel isn't about having a great physique, it's good, it's really good to have that, you know, in your locker to be able to do that when you want. Um, eventually I want to be able to do that through you know cardiovascular training and being super fit and that I'm I'm running so much and I'm doing so much you know I'm so super fit and I'm doing so much cardiovascular training that my body weight is like always low it's always you know it never comes over 13 not regardless of what I eat but I can eat a lot that's what I want to aim for is I can eat a lot 3,000 calories or something because I'm doing so much cardio because actually a thousand calories is kind of like nothing like a smash I burn a thousand calories a day easily because of the amount of calories I'm burning you know through training but that's enjoyable yeah it's like it's, it's that it's not a chore because running eight miles is relatively easy running to and that's not crazy guys like i've been in position i've been there before in my life that's how you progress it's exactly the same with cardio you just you know i do eight miles sit at eight miles do a couple of nines do a couple of, i mean i probably could jump to 10 but just do it very slowly but i am will wait until my eight miles i'll do more hill sprints and wait till i'm doing eight miles uh quicker and more comfortably every single time and then jump and do some tens and then going back to the eights will be easy. They'll be quick. And it's not just the speed, because if you keep pushing the speed, they're always gonna be hard. It's more like you do one at around, doing, doing 8.30 per, per minute mile pace, and it's comfortable. I get, to, I get to the end of the eight miles and I'm like, I'm fine. I'm not exhausted, you know, I'm like chill. And then you, and you build up and you do that with like 10 miles. And that, and then, you know, and then I incorporate cycling and do the same with cycling and do the same with swimming, even though swimming's fucked at the moment because I only let you have an hour in the pool. But you can still, you know, that's still a challenge. So what I'll do is swim in because only let, they, they, they give you an hour or an hour and a half and they kick you out. But, you know, how much can I do in that hour? That will be the challenge. How many meters can I swim in one hour? That will be the fitness challenge. Um, and I just do all this tons of, and skipping, I've finally got a skipping rope. So, you know, skipping will be a mad thing that I'll, and then I'll look at, you know, training like a boxer, doing a boxer program. I'd love to start hitting a bag again, but my right wrist is just so dodgy and I can't risk hurting my wrist properly, uh, you know, because of lifting. So I don't know about that. We'll have to, we'll have to see. I'm very nervous about doing that. But anyway, right, I've ranted long enough and this video has certainly been long enough. A day in the life, I'm sure it'll end up being a good, 40, 45 minutes, but I hope it's good value. I uh, hope you learned something. I hope it was entertaining. And uh, obviously there'll be plenty more because I'm really enjoying uh, you know, doing daily vlogs, even though I've only done a couple at this point. Um, I mean, I'm filming this one even before I've actually released my YouTube channel. Weird, right?
Uh, so, but I'm, you know, I'm getting used to it. Of all the videos I've done, I'm probably enjoying the daily, the, like the vlog, the day in the life vlog type stuff. More and more, the more confident you get talking to the camera, it's great. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you had a great day too. And I will see you in the next one. Later.